If you were thinking of having a coffee, which one would you choose? <laughs> this is the first coffee culture festival at Shanghai's Westbound. Along the five kilometer riverside, there are 100 coffee brands steaming hard to satisfy aficionados' taste buds. <laughs> Everyone's so excited here, I can barely find a place to stand. A cup of latte from a traditional Chinese food brand. Coffee brewed with beans from China's Minnan province. And of course, some big international names. This booth in the shape of a classic newsstand is adorable, one of the hottest booths here. One, two, almost 20 people are queuing up. コーヒーがすごい好きで、で、最近上海ですごくコーヒーブームが来てるので、なんか日本にはないコーヒーがあればいいなと思って。the coffee fans were even getting the stall owners excited. For me, four cups and that's the upper limit. But now I really feel like some food. Pet lovers, campers, and sports lovers can all find their spots here. Okay, let me check my bills. 109元。大概花了100多吧,差不多。两300吧。I should admit that at the beginning I was thoughtful that a coffee market could create much a boost in consumption with a cup costing just 10 to 50 yuan. But now I think I've got the answers. It's a variety of businesses taking part in the market throughout the area that creates the benefit. Just like the passengers on this shuttle bus, they will probably turn into visitors to the many art museums, restaurants, and stores that surround the whole Westbound.